Earth is 4.5 billion years old. We know that through radioactive decay. And the Earth, even 500 million years ago, was a very different place from now. From the shape of its continents to the life that was on it, it was like another planet. So then, let's say we go back in time and try to spend a day in this ancient Earth. First of all, we do know that one supercontinent, Pangaea, existed 250 million years ago. But this is almost double that time in the past. So we can't accurately predict what the shape of the continents looked like 500 million years ago. But still, through calculating the movement of tectonic plates, we do know how it looked like. Looking at Earth from space, it would be a blue ball, with a bit of land as always. But that land would look completely barren and empty from space. It would not look alive as it does today, but yet it still would be quite a sight at the past, looking at all the unfamiliar continents. Standing on the ground, it would be very noticeable that there are barely any signs of familiar life on the surface. There would be no trees, grass, and other familiar complex life forms. But interestingly, there were found lesion like fossils that date back to 600 million years ago. Early fungi was also there. So, those could be seen, as well as likely any other life form that sticks to the rocks. Or maybe even plant like life could be spotted that we just haven't found out about yet. Looking at the sky, it would be similar there would be an ozone layer for protection that formed not that long ago at that time. If the moon was present, it would appear a bit bigger. And the day would be around 22 hours long, not 24. Oxygen levels were also likely noticeably different at that time. Now this is around the time when Cambrian explosion happened or when first animals started to appear. So it would be interesting to see first land life, but the real thing would be going on in the waters of this old earth. So going in for a swim in this unfamiliar ocean and taking a look at the seafloor, there would be lots of recognizable species, but there would be also those that would look completely alien. So there would be a type of a jellyfish, corals, sponges, or even earliest forms of fish could be spotted that pretty much jump-started every fish alive today. But other than those somewhat familiar ones, there are as well those that went extinct long ago. So here are a few which could be seen at that time. Trilobites. This creature swam the oceans for 250 million years. It ranged in size but mostly was from 2 to 10 centimeters in length. You could see them living different lifestyles, some being predators, scavengers, or feeding on planktons. It would be interesting to know what would go through their minds while seeing a human. Would it try biting you, or would it not care? There are lots of fossils found of them. They basically ruled the world before us for hundreds of millions of years. Next species, Opabenia another small soft creature that ranged in size from 4 to 7 centimeters in length. It was usually crawling or swimming around the seafloor, likely looking for small pieces of food. It really looks ancient. Next species, Marella. This animal is tiny and was usually only 2 centimeters in length. Its appearance is quite strange. It has antennae and a pair of legs. It likely would be seen crawling at the bottom of the seafloor looking for dead animals or other organisms. So those are just some that we have found that went extinct. And they all look like they came from another planet. But still, they were one of the first animals. Interestingly, first footprints on land date back to 530 million years ago. Meaning semi-terrestrial animals may have predated plants. So the first animals to set a foot on this land would observe a very barren landscape. So going back in time and seeing Earth 500 million years ago is something that would be very valuable and would change our perception of the current world. We would realize what we had to be in order to become what we are today.